Welcome to Jay and Laura TV, where we answer your questions about life, marriage, and family. And today's question comes to us from Texas. What do you do when trust has been lost in the marriage? That's a loaded question because there's lots of different ways. I mean, here's the deal. That's husbands, like the 800-pound gorilla in the room. Husbands and wives lose trust in each other every day. I mean, we disappoint each other every day. I don't trust Jay behind the wheel. Even though for but, 30 years I've kept her safe, <laughs> she still has to tell me how to drive. But we know that's not really the type of and trust you And now even my daughter about. has to tell me how to drive. It's pathetic. <laughs> well, there's lots of different ways we could go with this, but we're going to venture down one avenue of trust. We're going to give you one example from our marriage that happened many, many years ago, and that was when Laura got us in serious credit card debt. Uh, I like to spend money. Unbeknownst to me, uh, I'm very much financial. Uh, I want to be real tight, tight with our money because tight, that's the word right there. <laughs> because it's important to not put yourself in debt. It is. I'm just. Joking. And unbeknownst to me, Laura had run up the credit card bill quite significantly for the income that we made at that time. We were youth ministry, and so we literally spent the next two years digging ourselves out of that credit card debt, and that trust had been broken to a point where um, we cut up the credit cards. Uh, she could not go to the store. We made rules where, you know, Laura, you can't we go to the We together store. did that. We right. didn't, you know, it wasn't you like know, Jay I didn't, I didn't said, bring... here's the way it's going to go. We right. sat down and discussed it together. And said, Laura, you, you really need to go to the store with a list and to not come home with anything other than what's on the list. And she did that really well. And we worked through budget and we worked through how money either works for you or works against you. And we worked through all this stuff to the point now where we've rebuilt the trust in our marriage where she handles our, our books for our marriage. She handles all the bill paying. She handles the, the savings account. She handles the retirement accounts. And so it can be rebuilt. But what has to, has to take place is you have to come to a foundation of we're married and we're going to trust each other, but we're going to work through this together. You have to take it one step at a time. And you have to realize this took place, okay, at year 10 in our marriage. We're now at year 30. So what you have to understand is the benefit of time. Time in your marriage is, is always going to benefit you if you keep the communication open. And, and that trust is going to get built stronger and stronger and stronger over time. But you, have, you can't rush time and you can't rush trust, trust. It's like, for example, if you take a piece of paper and put it down on, on, a, on a table. That one piece of paper doesn't seem significant. But if you put one piece of paper down on that table every day for 30 years, you're gonna have a stack built very, very high. And that's how you build trust. You build it one day at a time. And when you get that trust built, it, it, it provides a great foundation for your marriage. So three little tips, just to remember when we're talking about trust in this particular area, we're not talking about infidelity and that type of losing trust, but we're talking about those day-to-day -day things. things that happen in your marriage. The first thing that has to happen is that the offender does need to admit they have a problem. Me, in this case, in this illustration, I was the offender, offender and I had to admit that I did have a problem. And the second is that forgiveness has to be given. Um, the Lord tells us we have to forgive and I asked for forgiveness and Jay forgave me. And then we we put a plan in place. We put a plan in place together that this is how we were going to make sure that this didn't happen again. So that's how we have built trust back in our marriage in Over that particular years. area. We will answer some of those other areas where people have lost trust in their marriage as we go through a series of questions that have been sent to us. So we'll see you next week. Please send us your questions on Facebook, Twitter, email. Click the link below and send us your questions.